Okay. So you who's gonna moderate? You Vicky or do we wanna I'm happy to take on that role. Okay. <laughs> um, I just need to find my documents. Um so do we want to first go around the room and, and just say who we are? That's yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. And Vicki Jackson, more than seven. Welcome. We have to speak real loud because we don't have the mics with us, mm -hmm. right? Is that right, Tosca? Yeah, this is the microphone. So okay. yeah, try to speak up if you can. <laughs> <laughs> I am Deb Mountain with Ward 7. Andrew Kronikfeld, Ward 7. My name is Lee Morgan. My pronouns are they, them, and I live in Ward 7. All right, I'm Sarah Diaz. I'm also in Ward 7, she, they pronouns. Lee Turkey in Ward 4, she, her pronouns. Uh, Caitlin Attenborough, she, her, Ward 4. Yes. <laughs> Think about that one. I'm she, her pronouns. I'm she, her, too. Sorry. He, him. It's Andrew. Anybody online that needed to introduce themselves? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, uh, we have one person online. Yeah, would you like to introduce yourself? Please. Thank you, Christopher. Mm -hmm. I'm on track on that. You know, just I'm raise your ready. hand if you would like to talk. But I really care and I really want to get it. Thank you. Who is online? Christopher. 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 Aaron Felker. Um, yeah, if you'd like to talk, just raise your hand and we'll allow you to speak. But yeah, right now, no hand raised. So apologies to everybody. We had some serious technical difficulties because the Wi-Fi is out here. And let's ask Christopher if he can hear us. Can Christopher give us a wave or something if he can hear us? Maybe we don't see his video. Oh, good. Oh, there we go. Put his hand up. Oh, okay, good. Perfect. Nice to see you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Chris, can you hear? Christopher, can you hear us? I think you can. Yes, right. I can hear you now. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Working. And I got Very mine good. up. Yay. Uh, mm. So do we have a note taken? Okay. I can take some notes. Great, <laughs> thank you. God bless you. So, um, so we've already gone through introductions, assignment of roles, pretty much, um, and setting up. Uh, and so at this point, I think that everyone has had the opportunity to review the bylaws, and I'd like for us to just um, uh, Fulska, as we go through the bylaws, will you allow us to? You know, I can't access the bubbles, the yeah. um, bonnets on the right. I can see them. Do you want me to? Oh, you can see them all? Yeah, yeah, I got them. Oh, oh yeah, that's you. don't ask me how, but I got them. Um, okay. I've got them on my screen here, and I don't even, I think it's because I had this up before and so I still have access to it even though I don't have Wi-Fi. Okay, perfect. So if that's okay, you want me to go through them? I, I think it's great. I think that well let's start with um I have I'm trying to get my document up. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Do you want me to take the keep going while you're I want to make the updates on my copy if I can. Okay. I think I have it right here. I can also do like suggestions on the Google Doc here live okay. so you can see them if that's helpful. Yeah, that way we can just accept. Well, they should changes. be there unless we, the if the comments are acceptable to people, they're there. And we can check, you can check them and accept yep. them, right? right? But if there are any new ones, okay. So, so yeah, just let me know if you'd like me to okay. accept a suggestion so we'll or add a suggestion. Right. We'll start at the top. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. You want me to? Okay. So uh, so these are comments that were added since the last meeting. Um, and I believe this was Marianne had suggested, uh, I'm not sure if it was Marianne, seek to be diverse and inclusive grassroots organization, neighborhood organization. It was me. It was big. 
Okay, um, because we're not quite there yet, and I know that the city website also uh, added that on theirs. Um, so we're not stating that we are this already, but we're working towards it. Either way is fine with me. Works, I think it gives us, we don't want to paint ourselves into a corner, so we might as well seek to be. I like it. Yeah. I think it's accurate. Everybody agree? Yeah. Yeah. I want yeah. a great yeah. vote. Check, Check. Check. We'll go Check. for it. Check mark. That was easy. So, so that, okay. So I'm just going to suggest to delete this, but you'll see it as a suggestion. Take the R. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think. All right. I think that's fine. Because okay. this was just written into the text. It wasn't a suggestion. Can we just take it out? Sure. Yeah. Thank you for being so professional. We made a decision. <laughs> Yay. All right. What's the new one? The next one. one. Let's, All right. Right. Let's, Let's, go. Go. Let's go right through them, and then we'll. Yeah, a lot of mine are just grammatical things. You yeah, know, I, nothing to even get. Yeah, I would say that you know any kind of like grammatical All right. well, updates, we can be okay to just. Yeah. Okay. Thumbs up. The next one is again a grammatical one uh, that just uh, that Mary uh, Marcella, as organizations, the Ward Four and Seven NPAs value diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. Period. We adhere to the following principles: colon. We need S on wards because there are two wards. Yeah, but we're not saying wards four, ward four, and ward seven. So we're saying, oh, yes, you were so right. I'm, I apologize. I think she added. Yeah, I think it was Mr. Ward. Yeah. No, no, because it's an adjective. The Ward 4 and 7 NPAs, the S goes with the NPAs. Okay. Okay. I think so it's one singular. It's Ward 4 it's and months. Ward 7 NPAs. Yes, yeah. or either way. But the, So I had four, as organizations, Ward 4 and 7 NPAs, that university. Yeah, that, that's fine. And so so take, we, take out the and take out the S. All right. Okay, so it's really fun the way it is. It truly is, because you've got the Ward 4 and 7 NPAs. Okay. It's but, as it is in the sentence above. Before the guiding principles, right? The ward four and ward seven. So okay. you can kind of use that. Either way, that. either yeah. way it's fine. But okay. Either that or ward has to be plural. Right. It's one NPA. No, it's two NPAs. We are two NPAs. Okay. We are two NPAs. Yes. And so right. it's either ward or ward singular plural. <laughs> so are you okay. saying? On this line, the second paragraph, it should also say the wards four and seven NPAs yes. together. So okay. add an S there. So where am I adding an S? Okay. No, okay, that's fine. But it okay, I'll go along with that. But and then it's correct. The next one under guiding principles, it says wards four and seven NPAs. I think as long as it's consistent in the document, yeah, you just have to commit sense. to one or the sure. other. Yeah, and okay. Then we're okay. It's well, as, well, yes. as organization, the wards four and seven NPAs value diversity, equity, inclusion, and belonging. Okay. Period. Yep. We adhere to the following principles. And then we've already gone through this at the last meeting. Yes. Um, and, and we changed in number three, uh, Maricela changed assembly, suggested changing assembly to NBA, which is consistent with the rest of the language. So we agree with that. I agree with that. Okay. And then we uh, added this uh, additional add on to this statement last week. As this as was suggested, um, we added um, at the end of this statement, and where diversity of thought is encouraged, people want to continue with that. I like, like where is that? Number, number four, uh, number, number four, four and under purpose. Uh, and we are seeing under 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 guiding four. principles. It's not on the continent, but this has been at four. We yeah. provide. Safe and welcome. We're ready to share their voices. You can it's see it up here. Up here. Up yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. I didn't update it here. But you can oh, use the copy. Oh, we can share. Wherever we have the update. So this was the conversation where, where diversity of thought is encouraged. 
So the reason why I was moved to come to this meeting is I wanted to provide some historical context on the phrase diversity of thought. So I watched the last week's recording and I and I could see people kind of hesitating with this and, and not sure why it was being focused on so much. And I think there's a reason why your intuition is sending you that way. So um, the phrase diversity of thought has popped up um, more so in recent years in response to uh, the DEI movement. Um, and, you know, most of the time the phrase diversity of thought has been used in the context of being a counterpoint to DEI and, and fulfilling a air quote diversity requirement, not by um, the traditional, you know, diversity of, you know, religion, gender, sexual orientation, race, stuff like that, but saying we meet the diversity quota by having a diversity of thought. It's like all lives matter. Yes. Yeah. Well, so I and I come with sources because I don't. So I'll tell you also why I'm hesitant to be the one to bring this up is because I've been through a lot at this MPA. A lot of you understand that the reason why city council passes resolution is because of discrimination I faced for over a year on this MPA. So it's tough for me to bring this up because I know that there are going to be people who argue this and I'm nervous that this got added into the document because I am seeing a conversation taking place in our neighborhood Facebook group where people are discussing whether or not trans people deserve to be called by their pronouns or if someone has an opinion that it's not real, that they don't have to. And that's exactly why city council passed this resolution is because people in this NPA felt that they didn't need to call me by my pronouns because they didn't agree with it as a matter of opinion. And so by putting this in there, mm -hmm. I feel like what we are doing is undermining the reason why we're even here. We are also giving, we're weakening um, when, you know, when someone doesn't want to abide by the things that the city council says we have to abide by, that's why we're here. So well, what about diversity of thought? Um, and so I think there are ways where, you know, if you're looking at diversity as a thought, if you're looking at diversity of thought as in like, it's important to have different opinions, it certainly is. And I think that value is represented in your guiding principles. You talk about that pretty thoroughly. So what I would encourage us to do is to make sure that it is very clear that there are pe like people can have different opinions, but your opinion cannot be about whether or not people deserve the Good things point. the city council has Good point, decided that. that everyone deserves. Like, I agree. and and um, I'll just kind of wrap up this 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 point where it's you know it is not fair to expect community members to make a decision when they walk into these rooms. And, and this is why I had originally resigned, is it's not fair for me to have to make a choice every time, is am I going to have to engage in arguments over whether I deserve the same basic rights that everyone else does in this room, or am I going to acquiesce to these arguments of that, well, someone doesn't believe I'm real, so they don't really have to respect my rights. And so I do just want to point that out. I do just want to give you sources so it's not just me spouting my ideas. So um, there is an article in The Root, uh, which is an online magazine. The title is, is called Diversity of Thought, in quotes, is just a euphemism for white supremacy. So they they go through, through that. That's by Michael Harriet. Um, there is an article in... Profiles in Diversity Journal, Leadership Defined, which is titled, Why, quote, diversity of opinion, end quote, is a threat to diversity, equity, and inclusion, and what should be done about it. And there is a quote from um, the Paralegal Association article titled, Diversity of Thought Hinders Belonging, written by Kurt Harris. Um, and I just wanted to, maybe I lost the quote, but um, okay, this is 
Uh, diversity of thought does not equal diversity. <clears throat> when we talk about diversity of thought, we, were, we are talking about diversity of opinions and perspectives rather than actual diverse representation itself. Conceivably then, you could have a room chock full of white men and contend that they represent diversity of thought because some are from urban areas versus rural areas. Some grew up blue collar while others grew up very affluent. Some are Republican while others are independent and some are religious while others are agnostic. Without diverse representation and visible diversity, you risk inclusion. So I just wanted to point that out. I felt like the, the decision was made to include this without all the information. So I just wanted to- I moved to remove it. <laughs> I did agree to it. I said it. I agree. So take out and just put a colon. So let's all vote on it. I just to clarify, so that term, that phrase, diversity of thought, is really a buzz. A dog whistle. Oh, yeah. oh it's post. I yeah. never knew that. And I well, didn't either. Thank and you. that's why these so that's why these things exist. Um, because there are terms that to anyone sounds reasonable, right? Like the phrase diversity of thought sounds really reasonable. Mm -hmm. And so it can get into things like these. But then they, when they are utilized is when, like, the next meeting I go to and someone refuses to call, someone asserts that I'm a woman, and I say, hey, now, like, we have new bylaws. Oh, no, we got diversity of thought in there. It's my opinion Jeez. that you're a woman. And, 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 and the arguments that were given at the last meeting were to, um, I think that we have, Excuse me. And number three, it says we provide a safe and welcome, welcoming forum where residents can share their voices and issues that matter to them and learn from others. Also, in number seven, we strive to create a fun, creative, and vital organization that provides value through the diverse perspectives shared. Yeah, I think it's a and so therefore, covers it all. I yeah. think it's all in there, and therefore, okay. I thought it was redundant. So, for for all of the above, I I we voted to remove. It. I think it's safe to remove. Yeah. So do we, let's just make it formal. Huh? It's formal. Yeah. Can I all agree? We need a fair vote. I'm in favor. I have a point of order question. Um, I realize you're going over changes that have previously been made. Are you taking it in order? Because I have some changes I'd like to suggest. Of course. So should I bring them up as we go along? So okay. Don't you think? Yeah, we're not. We're very informal. We're not okay. an official formal. Okay. Then I had a suggestion for number six. Okay. Well, wait a minute. Let's so, we finish that. Let's so, yeah, finish yeah, that. Yeah. Let's start it. So does someone have a yeah, yeah. there's a hand. Chris, All right, so we voted then to remove this and end it with a period after. So for our, Chris has, has, a, has, he has, has his hand up. I don't. Okay. To speak or to vote with us. Well, I he's not know. in our word, so I don't think he can vote. But we should listen to him if he has a comment. Okay. okay. Sure. Hi, Chris. Would you like to speak? Hello. Christopher, you can unmute if you'd like to say something. Did he put, is there anything in the QA or let him? He's got his hand. Is there a quorum? Do you have to unmute him, maybe? It might have been left up from before. And yes. 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 We, we have satisfied the We have satisfied the quorum, so we do have that. Okay, well, if um, you're able to unmute and you still want to say something, uh, feel free to do so. You should be able to unmute. Yeah. All right. I don't see him. For the sake of time, if okay. he wants to. We just have his camera off. And yeah. 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 Just to clarify, Christopher, we are preparing what is a draft to go before the full MPA. So the full MPA, we're not finalizing anything at, at this meeting. We are preparing a draft to go before the full MPA. Well, well, so the full MPA 
will have a quorum and decide this ultimately. And they they can change this. So whatever that is. So can we please go back to guiding principles and, and Lee, you were saying? I wanted to suggest adding to number six where it says, include those who have been previously excluded and I wanted to add or underrepresented. So excluded from or underrepresented in decision making roles and process. I like that. I love it. Uh, number six mm -hmm. under. Oh, wait, I was going to ask if we were going okay. backwards. All right. Is well, someone else adding that in, or should I be? Uh, who wants to suggest? I'm, I'm trying to add it. So um, we acknowledge the barriers to accessing decision making and work to include those who have been previously excluded from or unrepresented in. Yep, yeah, underrepresented in decision making roles in processes. We still need to take out the diversity of thought. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I took that out. Fully removed. Right. Perfect. I'm saving this before I say anything else. I know. Okay. So, okay. So, so now we're moving on. And then the article one, the purpose. Uh, does everyone, can we, up to this point, um, is everyone in favor of um, approving mm -hmm. the guiding principles yes. as you discussed? Yes. 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 Perfect. Yes. 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 Um, under the second line under A, strike the K in A community development. Uh, and number what? Under well, maybe it's already been taken out. Where is it? It says A K community development, including but not limited to A K community development. Well, it means A K A, right? It's no, not in the, the K is a typo. I don't think it's in oh, here. I think it was already removed. Yeah, yeah, I'm not seeing okay. it. If it is okay, okay. Well, we'll come across those because so as set forth, and we just approve all of these changes. Does everyone agree to yes. approve the, yeah. the just the grammatical the grammatical stuff? I think we yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Just, and um, yeah, we agree. perfect. <laughs> um, I I also want to emphasize including but not limited to. That's really key, and I would underline it. Where is that? Can you read the In section A, provide advice to appropriate commissions, boards, city departments, and the city council including on topics not. including but not limited to community development. It's how like that is added already? Yeah, that's already added. Yeah. So yeah. We're just I know it's been added, but I think it ought to be emphasized. And I would underline. You want to underline that it? that it be underlined. Wait, I want to see. I, I can't follow right now. It's, um, it's in number one. Number one. Well, you don't have numbers on yours. Here, right? I, I've, I've highlighted it on the screen. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But it's it's not there any okay. If it's Google Docs, there's like various view options. Yeah. yeah. Last time we had little. I, I, yeah, because I, I just have to go back and make the changes on the other one. I think I changed the numbers. You know, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Are you making changes too? Mm -hmm. Because you see, everything in this list is coming from the city, it's just coming from, from the top the down to the city. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so yeah. we, by adding, including but not limited to, it makes us able to address and advise on any issue at all. Sure. Right. I don't know that I would underline it. Okay. It's all the, only because okay. normally when you underline something that's online, it looks, it's mental. It, Stand it's that a link. It's a link, you know. Yeah. Okay. That's all I would say. Okay. Okay. That, you know. It's as long as our steering committee knows I, that it is including but not limited to. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, I think there's well, some, it's uh, right there's some strong personalities on the yeah. steering committee to make sure that that rings true. So are, are we? Have we gotten through? Uh, uh, so I don't know. We yeah. We lost our. Put them to check marks on those. Yeah, I have been, but um, I still highlighted this right here. Are you still on this, or are I you... think we moved on. I don't think we're. All right. We have the language. We're not going to underline or make bold. Okay. Um, so... number three here, concerning city programs and activities. I'd add issues. Issues. Oh, wait, we have. Did you want you to delete? Um, concerning city programs and activities. Did we want to? Like, what are we doing? Are we replacing? We deleting? We're deleting. What are we doing? So number two, the there's a suggestion to delete the responsibility of 
So the sentence would be make recommendations for consideration of appointed and elect elected officials charged with implementing city policy. I think that's smoother. Okay. Yeah. I mean, we might as well make it as concise as possible. Sure. For the sake of people reading okay. it. Okay. Guess I don't think we lose okay. anything by doing that. I don't that. think we do either. So we can resolve that, take it out. Yeah. Uh, number three. Are you well, taking there's... out including the the allocation of revenues? No, no. no. Uh, three, just... the responsibility of oh, right. okay. so leaving that. Just recharged with um, yeah. Number three, there's a suggestion to remove another portion, provide a forum for sharing information about city programs and activities. So we would be removing the purpose of information of information sharing concerning of concern and of concern to the member. So again, it's just to make the sentence more concise. And I want to add city programs, activities, and issues to number three. To number three, because there are city programs and there are activities. Sure. And the the issues are involved in the sure. yeah. Yeah. Good idea. So, so can we remove yeah. Yeah. for the purpose of information that kind yeah. of stuff? Clean right. that up and then add. Programs, comma, activities, comma, and issues. Perfect. What are you guys using the Oxford comma? Um, I'm a fan of the Oxford okay. commas. But I included it because I can delete it. Which I'm sure we're going to have that time. There has been lawsuits <laughs> one at the size of Oxford commas. So, uh, so well, then we, can we update like, that? Yeah, I just did, but I, I'm putting things in as suggestions so you guys know what I've changed. There's something up there uh, on number one. There's a green something, Pellin. Oh, yeah, because it said there, there was a D instead of a P, it's, so I put in a P, so it says it was, a, it was a D, and it was, was, and it, it was, it was a Oh, yeah. Was okay, so can we upgrade that? Oh, yeah, we can remove that then, I guess, if the suggestion is the error. Okay, cool. <laughs> and <laughs> can we all move to just change this next Few, yeah, yeah, grammatical errors. Yeah, yeah. Did we talk about this ending phrase of concern to the members? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think we're, we're going to get rid of that one as well, if I recall. Right, so, yeah. one four, number four, just no. check, yeah. check mark, check so, mark. Am I on. Accepting this? <laughs> yes, okay, yep, go right ahead. Um, in number four, wait, 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 we got to go back up three. Um, three, we're going to remove of concern to members. Oh, sorry, I didn't say that. Perfect. All right. And uh, we have something from number four. Wait, we're not, we're not there yet. We're talking not there about yet. citizens. Okay. And I want to talk about, I wanted to read commission members, residents. Yeah. And uh, what do you mean by private citizens? I mean, first of all, we ought to do away with citizens. We should do away with citizens. Non citizens yes. are well here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. It no, never yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So do we just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can change that to be residents. Yes, yeah, I think representatives, commission, commission members, members, and residents. In residents, period. I think that's all we have. Right. 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 we're losing it in number four. I think it's redundant. I do too. I you think issues and concerns are the same thing. I think it's the same, same it thing as four. number and three. three. Well, <laughs> well, we removed it from number four, didn't we? No. I think the, so I, there's still one word. One we're leaving it to the four. I think we're going to remove both citizens. Okay. So do you want me to write to report to resident? Yes. Yeah. Yes, please. We're leaving that in. Okay. So let's yeah. update. Let's go back and get rid of green. So okay, I just want to make sure you guys see what I yeah, provide a form so. for sharing information about city activities and, and issues. issues. Yep, that one was good. Bring to the MPA city officials, elected representatives, and commission residents. members, and residents to report to residents of Ward Four. It should be wards with an S. <laughs> yep, four and seven. No, just word four and word seven. 
So well, now you, you, you're spelling them out, Ward 4 and Ward 7. No, wards with, a, with an S. We decided to be consistent throughout the whole document. Then you get rid of the second loop. Oh, I got right. it. I got it. So okay. I got it. So what are we? So we're going to put it in singular. S yes. Right. I don't know. I give up. You want the end? I got confused. End, you want the end? I got the yes. 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 No, that's okay. No, that's okay. That's all right. That's all right. So two oh. separate NPAs. So, but it says yeah. Ward 4 and yes. Ward 7. Yeah. So it is. So it's we, individual Ward 4, Ward 7. It says Ward 4. It's Ward 4. <laughs> oh, it repeats Ward. It's okay. We're okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah right right. Good. All right. Okay. All right. I think we're good. So Absolutely. in number four, did you take out citizens? And yes. Yes. What, you replace what about citizens? members of the ward four and ward seven? Because isn't everybody that lives here a, a if member? If they're fourteen or older, if they're yeah. So and and members are defined elsewhere in yes. here. So we so we put replace citizens with members. So no, citizens we, it's residents. We, we have you residents. don't have to be a member to come to a meeting and listen to anybody speak. Yeah. Everybody who comes to the meeting who lives in Ward Four and or Ward Seven is a member, unless you are under the age of fourteen. Yeah, yeah, but that's defined elsewhere in the. I think well, it's safe to say residents here. here no, I think we, the only issue is phony is for the. the members okay right members you have to be a member to vote but you can come whoever you don't even have to be a member of ward four or seven to come to a meeting right. or right. listen yeah or even talk you know all or so welcome. yeah so, so I think residents are okay. probably okay. Good. Residents good. Is good all right we have three more pages to go through <laughs> all right um so can we, this is another grammatical thing perfect let's just fix the okay. grammatical Okay. Uh, anyone online want to contribute? There's no one else online anymore. Yeah, I think that uh, well, for, for, for the diversity. Uh, and now that that's voted, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I'll look. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Great job, James. Good job. Got a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. So then we go on to Article Two. Um, uh, okay, we're doing great which now. gets, I think, a lot simpler at this point. Yes. Um, so uh, under participation, uh, the only thing that was done, I added, uh, will uh, the uh, under participation, uh, just to clarify what we're talking about, that the people online uh, attendance will be documented, documented by the online participant list. Okay. Is that true? Do we have an online participant? Well, you have to sign. Typically, every Zoom meeting, there is like. You can pull it up. You can pull it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, because you have to somehow sign up to be sure. there. Sure. Right. Because um, I was wondering the same thing. What is the participant? List? Right. Um, and then there was a grammatical change under so, A. So am I accepting the, accepting it? So we're going to accept that one. We'll accept yeah. the law. And, and then, uh, so you can check that one off too. Uh, in the under A, and <laughs> here's where we will change it back. Okay, the guiding <laughs> principles of the wards are four and seven NPAs. It's also an A yes. Answer. So you're going to check that one off. So the and so wait, number A should be meetings plural. Hmm. So who's it's NPA meetings. Because elsewhere in the document you say that they're made that they may meet yeah. separate ways. Yeah. Okay, then all right, let's go back to A, then get rid of the the and make meetings plural. <laughs> they can stay. But yes, that looks right good. Accept that, please. Yeah, thank you, Fosca. Hey, Fosca. You're really good at this, Fosca. 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 Are we saying your name? Am I saying your name? I think it's Fosca. I, I, yeah, it's Fosca, yeah. Fosca, Fosca yeah. Okay. Can, you, can you just make sure you're saving the document? It, it's it automatically. Oh, okay. It great. just happens. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 good point. Yeah. There's some it's sort of Google magic. Wi Fi. So, so, <laughs> I hope that we accept yeah. Yeah. colon yeah. and. Yes, accept. Okay. Yes, we accept that. Yep. And anything above that, what's not resolved, you should have nothing above there. I think, I don't know. Like there should be this nothing here? under. Right? Are those all resolved? I mean, those are what I typed in that you guys just talked about. I so. think underrepresented is one more. Maybe. Is underrepresented what? Yeah. Okay. One yeah. More yeah. 
<laughs> and accept. And then assembly and that green thing. Accept. That green thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's a beautiful thing, Oscar. <laughs> Do you want me to accept the list style with the numbers? Yes, yes. yes. we you like that. Yeah. yeah, you can resolve mine too, because that okay. was me talking about the. Oh, look at that. Look how it's one of those things we've checked off. All right. Yes, Going so, through a list yes, here now. Is that is like a third it's of the way through? Can change that? Yeah. Are we have yes. participation by non members now. We are indeed, I think. I, I don't know. I just I want a question good. here. There's some, You refer to guiding principles. In section four, number five, you refer to guidelines, and elsewhere, you refer to norms. Mm. And are the norms and the guidelines and the guiding principles, principles are all the same? same. We I agree. Sure. Yeah. So which one do we want to use? Well, is there a list called guiding principles? Yes, it's right at the beginning. That's the, that, the guiding principle, the grounding. Um, then every place should refer to guiding principles instead of guide. Oh, the following guidelines. I think guidelines might be different. That might yeah, be so, different. So, so, that so we should use a different word there. Where are you this looking? Yeah. Well, when we get there, but okay. uh, conduct of meetings, it says adhere to the following guidelines. And we should choose another word other than guidelines so that where every is, place where are you? Well, we'll do it when we get there. Okay. okay. We're not there yet. Yeah. Okay. 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 So <laughs> let me get my glasses back on. We're ready. Right. <laughs> okay. But we're here. That's what you're here? saying. So article, article three, three article three meetings. Go for it, baby. Guiding meetings. My mine is up. Okay. Regular NPA meetings will be conducted as scheduled in addition. Okay. So number one, frequency. What do you think? I mean, or, I, I put cadence. I know, and I did I that word didn't resonate. But that's okay. Does well, it a, I'm happy to change it to frequency. I okay. I, I really want to address this. This, and we, uh, is, this word, because we're, we're, we're talking about a specific word, word right now. So well, we're I want to address about, the whole section. Yeah, yeah okay, well, let's, hey, let's, 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 let's finish, finish this whole thing. Okay. If we're frequency, it is a frequency. I don't know frequency. what sentence means. That's yeah. All. yeah. I'm, I'm fine. I, I, I agree. Okay, yeah. okay. so right. we'll, we'll change the frequency. I'm happy with that. Okay. Great. Move it. I just like some people might not know what yeah. pain yeah. means no, sure. in terms of that. That's all. All right. So, so they, they, did you have? Yeah. Um, we've already said that meetings can be canceled. And our meetings, we have agreed, are on the fourth Wednesday of every month, right? Not I would, yet. Not in here yet. Uh, all right. Well, if you if you agree on every month, I don't think you should put in not less than four times beginning this we meet every month well we i don't, don't meet know. every month though no. historically all right months. but you have the you ha it's okay to cancel a meeting and say we're not meeting this month but if you say every i mean i can tell you for eight years we met every single month in august we had a barbecue instead of a meeting December. But if we're meeting, that's fine. But I don't want to have the expectation that we're exactly. going to meet every month. And then I, I, I do. Uh, I want to have the expectation that the NPA meets every month. But I realistically, know. I don't know if that's. You want to take a vote on it? I think this this doesn't preclude us from meeting right. every single yeah. month, right. but it sets the standard of, you know, at what? least we're going to meet for it. It sets the standard of, well, we don't have to meet this month. We've already at met four times. I watched it. I watched it happen that way. There are NPAs that meet four times a year. But we're creating a culture here, right? right? And we're aiming for that, but also life happens, right? And, you know, we didn't expect COVID to happen. Yeah. Right. We don't know. So I just think that um, it was here. I don't know what the history was. I mean, oh, maybe you watched it happen here where people weren't coming. I think we have a dedicated steering committee that wants to support having these as frequently as possible. Um, and there's a lot of pressure on volunteers at the steering committee. And, um, and so I think that to have one more area where we could say, oh, you fell short, 
because you didn't do this, to, to, to just change what has been in this case, I don't think is, is necessary. There was also, so some of the cancellations we experienced um, in the year that I was, was there were just some meetings where like all of our presenters fell through and we knew early enough in the month that we just essentially wouldn't have, wouldn't have a meeting. We knew people would be out of town. Our steering committee, like we didn't have enough steering committee members and we made most, but I think um, putting it into the bylaws that it's happening every month, um, I mean, it, it, and we could, we could have it every month, um, but I don't think committing to it that it has to be every month. Right. We could also increase the at least from four to six. Well, but I want I want to speak to every month again. Um, you always have elected officials that should come in. City council meets every month. You always have your elected officials. It doesn't matter if your presenters fall through. The counselors fell through as well. Well, <laughs> I, I, do, I, I it puts a lot of pressure on the steering committee, which is. Entirely well, then, volunteer work. Then let's be honest about that. It's really the steering committee doesn't want to have to do the work of a well, meeting every learn? That's I think that's a little unfair. I, I'm volunteering. I'm Vicky is volunteering her time. We want to put this on. We want to put on a good meeting for people. If doing it four to six yeah. times a month, four to six times a year makes a meaningful meeting, I think that's better than putting on a meeting every month and having people come and say, Oh, this is really disappointing. I no one showed up, or this was this was there's, 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 there's just always a city through. issue. And even if you did a meeting that was public forum, even if you just let people talk about what's on their mind, I give up. But I give up. I give up. I give up. I'm giving up. Well, I mean, you know, no, it's something you say your opinion. Is well, this something you can take a vote on? Or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, so here's where I'm coming from, and I didn't even know that. I, I honestly thought they were supposed to happen every month. I didn't they know are. that thing. But I guess when I think about this, Lee, I would rather feel, I would hate to see, I would, how do I say this? I would hate to see an announcement that a meeting has been canceled, you know, more than right. that would feel negative to me right. that a meeting has been canceled. Right. Versus so you don't cancel what, meetings. You well, say, no, but if they you say, if we're going to have a public forum, like, ooh, they yeah. had to cancel a meeting. That you don't cancel them. That's the point. Can we have at least, least that I, more than four, but less than twelve? But I, right. I mean, saying at least is so yeah. saying that we're going to commit. Yeah, leave it, leave it the way it is. I honestly don't want to labor this any longer. So let's just move on. Well, take a vote on it. So people feel. I mean, I guess I feel better about the four, yeah. honestly, just because okay. I hate to see that okay. the meeting was canceled. So now the next point was whether <laughs> we like, should vote on whether it's not, we no, about I vote. Yeah. I, 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 I vote to leave. I, yeah, I'm not going to vote to leave. I do okay. too. Like, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I think okay. that we're motivated that's, that's fine. to have them. Absolutely. The next, uh, next really more point. Can we, can we update this? Well, yeah, so I don't know where the next yeah, point I'm not sure. then is whether or not we meet regularly on the fourth so where Wednesday. And the answer is we don't. Okay. Here. So, yeah, we're concerned. And so at least people cannot times. cannot put the fourth Wednesday on their calendar. They have to wait as they are right now. They yeah. have to wait until the agenda goes to Foster because she hasn't put the twenty seventh meeting on the government meeting calendar yet. She hasn't we, but have, we have to be see it. Room. Like I just want to be fair to to to, to folks that like the reason why it's not on there yet is because you have a certain amount of days to put it on, and I'm sure you follow that. And no, well, yes, and when I receive have an agenda yet. Yeah, so when I receive an agenda, I post it. It has to be posted at least 48 hours before regularly scheduled meetings to comply with open meeting law. So I'm going to say six days before. So so according to open meeting law, and then. It you know most people who come to the NPAs know that certain NPA meets on a certain day of the month. Okay, so if they were to meet on a different day, they would need to warn that change. Yes. Uh, so it, it's kind of assumed that they meet on the fourth Wednesday of the month, and, and it's have, written and on the city website as well. Every month for our community meetings yes. and the town meeting, we have 
So that is a true statement. Yes. I feel like I always see posts about it on Trump Art Forum too. Like yeah, and uh, yeah, on Facebook group is kind of great. So we can forum and then various other social yeah, I think those networks. networks. Yeah. Would, would it be possible or can you even post it all the meetings going out every fourth Wednesday that this is happening with like an agenda to follow? With you know, can you just book it and then if if it for some reason isn't happening, you would you be able to say this meeting is not happening or this meeting has been canceled on uh, that website? I mean I can I can try to put them in, um, but without an agenda. It's not like warning right. the meeting. So right. for the it's sake kind of, of I think for the document, forward movement, we're good here. We're good. Yeah. So, so can this be yes. yes? I do also want to point out that just for like like process, like we can we can make decisions here about the NPA, but we can't make decisions about what FOSCA or CEO does. Right. 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 So, so I just want to point out we can ask, but we can't right. like require FOSCA to no. Yeah, yeah. Right. But but on this community webpage, you can see where certain Wednesdays are allotted for various NPA meetings, right? Yeah, it says on the NPA, like on the city website, there's NPA web pages for each NPA. Right. And it says what day of the month that they usually meet. And this so one, if I was go when when like if I'm on the board for library commission mm -hmm. and i'm looking at the city calendar to see what when is a free night for us to meet we use that calendar to mm. schedule other meetings mm. yeah so that's the reason to have it booked for a meeting yeah. well i know as as um so on the parks commission as a culture when we're looking at like scheduling things we we do just kind of keep in mind that like NPAs are are a thing and and it's, it's more just the culture of like our scheduling where we'll we'll go on the city's website not necessarily the calendar website but the city's website to check when each board has their NPA. Okay, hey, can we oh, look at three? Um, is this three one? The, uh, the I'm, number screwed up. So. Okay. Back up. Can you back up a bit, folks? Just okay. to the one above it. See, we got two ones oh, yeah. there. Just the time yeah. check that it is six thirty-eight. Thank, Thank you. you. So we have to get out of here at seven, and our separate yeah. have to leave at seven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's like rooms booked. I think. We so let's so see. see. Oh, they can run this. What is that? I have no idea. But the last time here, they're like, um, you need like. The like square dancing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's it's going. going. <laughs> I think if you I don't take, know why the formatting is not. If you yeah, take the two, we'll yeah. fix that later. Yeah, we'll just fix the formatting later. It's fine. I'll fix it later. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to speak to the number four agenda, the very last. Wait, that oh, we not it, there yet. What is facilitating this meeting? Maybe that'll help. I'm doing a very poor job. No, I'm just like, I I'm feel like I'm having, being clear about that that way. Thank like you. One person is talking. So, so that's what being too nice does. <laughs> <laughs> <But I'm> nice. <laughs> All right. There's so, Roman numeral three, two, um, on civic clerk. We took that out on the city's website. Take out civic clerk. Yeah. Okay. Three. Yeah, because it could change. Okay. Whatever else. That, that's yeah. true. Good point. Okay. A steer committee will um, also, also will. Okay, that's fine. We'll update those. Sure. Sounds good. Should I capitalize cities? Website? No. No, no. 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 Um, and then what's that? I don't know. What's that? Oh, what's that? oh, that's just like the, the number two there. So you I'll can just check that. Yeah, one. I'll fix that. Yeah. All right. Forum. We have nothing for quarrel, huh? It'll be three, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, these were. This was. I, I can help walk through this one real quickly. Um, it was. Uh, I yeah. I thought it was a little unclear the way it was okay. worded. 
Um, so, and I'm worried here, like, so instead of assumes the responsibility of establishing, so let me help read this. Uh, the steering committee is responsible for establishing role assignments and setting the agenda for all meetings, comma, and agendas shall be included with all meeting notifications. Perfect. Okay. Uh, got rid of during meetings, there will be da, 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 da. Um, each agenda shall we a process thing. Do we want to vote sentence by sentence? Just for the interest of time. Like as so we, yeah, we just have that exception. Say, change it all. I was gonna say change it on. Okay, well, let me read it through if that's okay. 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 Each agenda shall include a designated period of at least five minutes for open forum discussions. Okay. Um, it used to say during the meetings there will be a designated. Uh, during this time, any member may propose topics for future meetings that the steering committee shall consider adding to an upcoming meeting agenda. Period. Okay. And then just to clarify this, because it was kind of when you back, it was backed into. In addition, members may directly add topics to a future agenda, agenda of a regular meeting by majority vote of members in attendance, provided that one, a quorum is present, and two, the vote has been warned in advance. In other words, it cannot be added as an agenda item during the meeting. Maybe you should say that meeting. That was my attempt to really clarify that. I like it. I like the. the yeah, does it, it, does that imply that nice. any motion, any any motion, has to be warned for the next meeting? And if if, if it, it, there's it, basically it two yeah. ways to add in, then that's what it said. Specific there, to adding to the agenda. To add an item to a, a future agenda, you can okay. suggest it, right? Okay. And, and they can consider it. But remember a few minutes ago, Andrew said, let's just vote on it. And that happens at NPA meetings where there's a discussion and somebody says, we've had enough of this, let's move on. And we say, well, let's get the sense of the room. Do people want to move on or do they want to keep talking? Let's have a show of hands. And that's a that's a but vote. those are usually from Again, items that are already yeah. on the agenda. So, so that no, agenda is didn't be well, what if it's not? What if it then comes we, up during no, then what then if it they, comes up during public forum and people start talking about it? Then we put it on the agenda that's for the following month. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. That, but that's we have how we to, pick people coming back. Right. One, we get people coming back, and two, if there are people aren't who aren't present. In the but it, it's it's you know, Andrew settled that issue by saying, you know, let's vote on it. That comes up at NPA meetings where you you have to move on by calling for a vote. But I also I also can see where there can be an abuse of power. Um, right, if you stack in a meeting and say everyone's going to come in, and well, they can stack the next meeting too. But I see. But then that's a little more. I mean, again, that's for all right. Everyone okay. board, <laughs> board, okay. I mean, we vote on everything twice, so <laughs> we you know farmers don't get upset. Well, well, we back there. I love it. And I'm sure like if, if we're having like an agenda item, like let's say we're like someone's doing a, a presentation on, you know, how, how we should spend, like we have a surplus in the budget, which happens with the MPAs. So we want to, we want to donate the rest to the, to the, you know, whatever, whatever. And I'm sure if someone's like, well, I want to consider donating the rest, to, like it's a different organization. Like I'm sure like that is probably fine. But I, I, what, what I think this this new formulation is good is what you don't want in the same interest of the diversity of thought is there's this term called brigading and usually it it refers to like online. But what can happen in some of these local groups is a group of people will come together, come to a meeting, and they will say, for instance. I move that we update the bylaws to add blah, 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 and they will bring enough people with them to secure them. Yeah. So I feel like this is preventing the dating, which I yeah. think is good. Yeah. And it's, it's just true mighty like, little state thing to do yeah. to, to prevent that. <laughs> also also something. Um, you always have to warn a vote. So like right. if, yeah. if you're going to make any decision, like whether it's like using excess funds to, to you know, support some organization and whatnot. 
Um, so you can't decide at the beginning of a meeting, oh, like I want to add this agenda item to vote on blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, it always has to be warned in advance. So. Yeah, it has to be like the agenda has to be classified as like a discussion item or like a action item, right? Yeah, theoretically, usually in the general state, like vote on blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Can we talk about that final sentence, all MPA meetings, making them publicly accessible in City Hall and on the city website? I think we have to be more specific than city website because the city's got so many websites. Do you mean the city, the government meetings calendar? I or do you mean the, the Ward 4 MPA website? I, I think that we already answered that. that. Because they're changing. Yeah. And so we don't have to update our bylaws all the time. We have to figure it out. Well, you want to call it the city's NPA website? It's all the same website. There's just different like web pages. So links yeah, within just the same yeah. website. I vote that we... The government calendar um, is linked to Civic Clerk, for instance. That's all through the same website. Is there a search function? Yeah. 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 So can you say Ward 4 NPA and it'll take you to the Ward 4 NPA page? Yeah, probably mm -hmm. Wards 4 and 7. Yeah. Yeah, it will. I, that's how I feel. So yeah, well, if you're um, going to search, like, come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cross your face. Right. right. So oh, I, I, I move that we accept this section. Um, there's a piece of it, though, that I was concerned about. It just sounds like people can offer in it. You said something. During this time, any member may propose topics for future meetings. Um, you're, you're saying it's the way that infers it, it suggests that only at that last five minutes people can suggest topics for next meeting. Oh, okay. We don't so find so that. I think it should oh, be. I didn't even think about um, that. Uh, oh, okay. Um, yeah. I would just take out during this time, just any member may propose topics for future yeah, meetings. Yes, I think yeah, that, exactly. that way they know. Okay. Yeah, I, that's that's interesting because I kind of wondered why it was thrown in there, right? Uh, well, I guess it because it has to do with the agenda. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, so, folks, could you could you delete during this time? Yep. and the little A and put it back to the capital A yep, that I took out. I, I assume that's when it had to come up because that's why it was there. But well, I all the yeah, original. That was okay. Okay. Do you want yeah. yeah. okay. to accept the other changes? or Yes, accept all the changes. But you yeah. cleaned up so yes. much of it. Huh. Yeah. You cleaned up so much of it. It, was, it, was, oh, it, it backed was, into it, and I had to read it three it was, times. It was a lot of like a circular. Oh, they were kind of yeah. Yeah. I was like, be sure one day. I thought maybe, you know. Okay, are we on conduct of meetings or do we have to vote on something? I think well, we're just are we leading we all this just, section. Yeah, do can a quick we vote for the that for agendas to clean up the agendas as we discussed? Oh um, favor. favor. In favor. In favor. But I'm realizing something didn't congruous intended okay wow. uh and that is uh but i'll let her finish doing her thing oh yeah, yeah. i'm ready okay. when you are. and that is uh the third sentence folks go right up there any member may propose topics for future meetings comma yeah. and the steering mm -hmm. committee shall consider adding these to an upcoming yeah, there Perfect. you go. Yeah, that's what it should have been. Okay, good. Oh, thank you. I don't know how you edit like everything. Conduct of meetings to you. <laughs> um, I'd like to propose instead of the moderator will oversee, the moderator will facilitate. Good. Mm -hmm. I, I like that. that. Yes. And yes. then the following guidelines, we need another word for that because we have something called guidelines. guidelines. So um, we could just say the following. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I just want someone to tell me. Good idea. Um, All right. Like, so. Moderator shall facilitate. We're going to change. Yeah, moderator to change, oversee yeah. to facilitate. Don't bring my page. Yep, get a car. And it's facilitate, <laughs> comma. Yep. Facilitate, yep. comma, open, open and close, comma, and close. And close. Or open and close without comma. 
Um, <laughs> all attendants are expected to abide by the following, and we're going to remove guidelines. Yes, good. And keep the. And put a colon. But the, yeah, yeah we'll it's on the there. It is on there. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we taking out A? Why are we taking out what? A. Follow. Hmm? Oh, I, we haven't gotten there yet. Oh. So, meetings shall feature clearly defined agendas and role assignments. Oh, oh we took that out right. because it doesn't really go right to, with the meeting. It's not me. parallel, right. and that's why I and that's why I actually put it up in under agenda. And oh, I said okay. the steering committee is responsible, responsible for, for establishing role assignments and okay. setting the agenda. Perfect. I know. And I read, so we're I crossing that out clearly. Yes, yes. The role assignments. I, I, like, I knew role assignments. I think it was familiar. That's why. <laughs> that's what I got I it. <laughs> got it now. <laughs> so yeah, I think we can probably safely take that out. But anyway, I yeah. Think the I, I, I that clear. Do you all agree? Everybody agree. Take I agree. 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 Agenda. Is that done? Seven people. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's not, what did you say, Lee? It's not like parallel. It's not parallel. You yeah, know, that's the language. Oh, <laughs> I remember that stuff, but I forgot. It. <laughs> question, since yeah. we have less than 10 minutes left. So I don't think we're getting through this tonight. But <laughs> we, we, we might. <laughs> are, are we able to, wait, when's the next MPA meeting? Next week. Next, next Wednesday. Wednesday. So we're probably not able to have Actually, just one a meeting. For the we should get through this. Yeah, yeah, yeah one page. question. Okay, I won't ask my <laughs> question. We have one page. Thank you. We have like a okay. couple of minutes. You know, yeah, there's two, three, pages? three and a half. Oh, oh okay. yeah. <laughs> that's like three pages. Yeah, we're not going to be so. Well, you know, the text starts three and a half, but the there's like we don't have eight minutes. All right, let's just go. Come let's on, see what we can do. Let's see what we can do. All right. Okay. So, um, the last sentence under so, six voting. Do you have who are presenting? I don't, not, I don't, we're not. We're not. Wait, there. We're not there. We're right here. Conduct, conduct of meetings. C. Um, we're we're taking it out. Yeah. Everyone we're, agree? Yes. So the last two agree. Yes. Agree. Yes. Um, okay. Section E there. No. Use everyone what? instead of all others. Treat all others. Treat with, everyone with respect. Because what's this others? Did you move that from the first section? Mm -mm. I didn't do anything. Okay. It's just a format style section. E, treat everyone with respect. And as they would like to be treated. Yes. 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 And sure. Everybody? Yes. yes. Yeah. Everyone? Yeah. Oh, I think we're. So, yes. Yep. Okay, guys. Excuse me. Voting. Five minutes. Uh, the person who's going to say it is the We can say. <laughs> really? We can say. Tell them. We them. <laughs> Thank well, you. Well, they're you. invited to our meeting next Monday. Okay. I'll bring you back to the board. Can Bosca <laughs> stay, though? Is <laughs> she like, I, I, like, I like, you guys, you're wasting our last yeah. eight minutes. Let's go. Yeah. You might have more. It's more to try to okay. Voting. Yes. Um, Yes. Should it be NPAs plural? <laughs> I'm so confused by all. All the yeah. CNPAs yeah. by the NPAs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's an. Thank you. Add the S at the NPAs. Okay. Um. So we're good on this section. Yes. Yep. Perfect. Love it. Love it. I do too. <laughs> so, uh, oh, what does Marcella say there? To delete an S. Perfect. <laughs> Okay. Um, terms. No, we added one, didn't we? It says the word. This is a under Article Four. The word. Four okay. Nine, so nine, so nine. no, we need Good. the S there. Right? You need an I, S on ward. Yeah. Or you the need ward, the that's ward what you guys have decided, though. I disagreed, but I'll go along. I need that on like an index card. I'll leave that suggestion when I put it on my index card. Yeah. Okay, I'm listening. Um. Okay, so what does this say here? I think that if you do it, uh, Deborah March, question mark, question mark, one year, question mark. So um, the terms for steering committee. All right, so I highlighted that. Is that true? We have to elect them in March? Yes. And yeah. they only serve one year? Yes, and then you re elect those who want to stay on. Okay. March. 
I don't, I thought it was well, weird. Well, one year, is, I believe, is a new addition because the previous rules at least were not abided by. So we were having people being elected once and then never. Ever. Okay. Right. That was like a weird model. That's, That's how my prospect was highlighted. So I highlighted that every year in March. Um, second. I move that we accept. Yeah. Yes. Okay, go. So I just was questioning it. I was like, is that. What is the S supposed to the S, so this is just from this word here. You guys were debating yeah, you, whether yeah. you resolve it. Do you want the S there? Yes. 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 Yeah. Thank you. Lee says I want the S. So we should say yeah. shall be. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you want shall? Yeah, shall be a less. So right. back up. Good dev. Right? I mean, isn't that the way that yeah. you're supposed to read? Right. Under terms, the first sentence. Steering committees shall, shall be, be elected. elected. Sorry, just make the change. <laughs> At this point, you're like, yeah, uh, <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> whatever you want. We're doing great, folks. You're you're amazing. We got this. Uh, vacancies are good. No, and it's not good. Okay. It's what, not good. Who came up with this idea that the steering committee fills vacancies? For, it, it was it was uh, in the no recommendation. Well, the thing is, we have right now like six vacancies. Yeah, so, so anyone could so anyone anyone could join. join the steering yeah. committee. I think it I think it's bad policy to say the steering committee will fill open seats. You have to well, put the would be a So this is how it, it would be voted on. It fill the vacancy temporarily pending an election at the next regular yeah, and not only temporarily. Day. You don't fill the seat temporarily. All right, you you may nominate at the next meeting, or you can even nominate, or you can't nominate at that meeting because it has to be worn. Yeah. Okay. Well, but that's why it's good for a temporary, because if like a bunch of people, so like our last steering committee, all <laughs> was on, well. and yep. there was no steering committee. So if something like that happens again, and there's one remaining member, and they got to plan the next MPA meeting. They can bring some people on, help plan. We can warn the vote to get a new steering committee. I think it's a nice yeah. little safety net should we need it. Oh. Hopefully we won't. It yeah, can so also like, be brigaded. I have You're right. Hope. <laughs> Separate me. It can be brigaded. You do not want a temporary steering committee taking over. Well, we, I think you do because they are temporary. So then yeah. you can yeah. be like, no, you guys are a bunch I mean, of even some of our current <laughs> I mean, even some of our current members when we were first nominated Kind of accepted their nomination in a, I mean, just for their own transparency, yeah. saying, I don't know how long I can commit, but yeah. I'm willing to be here temporarily. And so yeah. to be able to, again, be able to plan our January meeting. And let's say, worst case scenario, there, there was some bad intentions and someone temporarily stacks the steering committee with ne'er do wells, it would be sorted out at the next NPA meeting, right? It would be voted. <clears throat> Yes. What what if they don't call a meeting? It would be at the next meeting. It would be Whatever at the next, the next meeting. meeting. It could be six months from now since we only have to have four meetings a year. I, I, I actually do. I am concerned about the privilege involved with that. Um, there's power and privilege in this in a way that could be harmful. Um, because if if we misuse our power here and are electing our buddies. Etc. Exactly. We are excluding marginalized populations um, or people that may be interested in joining that um, I've been waiting for an opportunity. So if we're always backfilling, and then I'm concerned that people may not get a seat at the table that want that need. Yeah. But they could be non even but if they weren't temporarily appointed, they could be nominated at the next meeting. It wouldn't right. be just That's right. the people, just the people uh temporarily appointed. They would be nominated at the next meeting, right? I mean, when you say that uh let's say that uh, you know they don't what you said, what if they don't hold a meeting? Then how much damage can they do on the right. hearing meeting? If, 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 if there's no meeting. If there are no word wondering. Well, look at how we got the steering committee we have now. Everybody resigned. The NPA got put out a notice and came together and and, uh, and had nominations from the floor. They called themselves temporary, but that was a made-up word. I mean, they are the steering committee until March. What is the language of the original one under vacancies? It's not used. 
right, because it's, take it out. I mean, it's just not in there at all. Because if if people resign, then they resign. You nominate at the next meeting. So well, should we include? I mean, is the proposal then to and take it out? Want to take the whole thing out, or to change the, the whole, language no, to say the members out. of the state so the may thing nominate thing individuals to be elected at the next regular NPA meeting? Do well, we lose anything by taking the, it out? You can nominate from the floor. Nominations can happen. Right? Anybody can nominate. I don't think so. The next meeting. <laughs> the bill <laughs> but it would have to be a, <laughs> a warrant vote. Love it. <laughs> So, um, so if to your point about what happens if everybody walks away, then we, we start like we, we did this time, yeah. yeah. right? Yeah, so you know, we have to like figure it out. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. So, what? Yeah, so like we have to organize it and, and everything. So that's how the December meeting happened. Otherwise, yeah. it wouldn't have happened if we hadn't organized. Yeah, Cito like ran and organized. Oh, yeah, meeting. right. Yeah, that's because there was literally no, no one steering committee. Mm -hmm. So if we take it out. There's not a whole lot of, but if everybody dispersed anyway, right? Um, CETA would have to. Then CETA would have to. Yeah. So there's probably unless no community members came together and called and said, "Hey, can we right. want to do that." There's no harm yeah. in taking it out till these points. So I don't think there's harm in taking it out. I'm okay with taking it out. All right. Oh, is there be anything in there about vacancies at all? Uh, no. Uh, there's already something it, in there. I think it. I, there is. It. I don't want it to <laughs> yeah. like take us into a corner. It is under in March, okay. you do so your election so in to... March, and if vacancies occur throughout the year, you can fill them at any time. Right. But, but everybody has to stand for election or re-election. Don't think about us. Thank you. So if someone oh, wants, yeah. since so there's what am I talking about? The steering committee now. now. Could someone at a next NDA meeting say, "I would like to uh, be on the steering committee"? Mm -hmm. and nominate themselves and speak and then yeah. the members could vote. Could. Would it have to be that's, warned? Well, I think that's what I did. Mm -hmm. No, we don't warn them for the more than we ambush them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. We try to warn like with if we know a name of somebody, but we leave a spot on the on, um, the, on, the, on the agenda address. for other people yeah. to be nominated. Okay. So you talk as long as there are vacancies on the agenda, routinely. Routine. Like, routine. I want to point out that you do have for no more than one year per election. So, in at our next NPA, when we're voting people in, does that mean that people on the mm -hmm. steering committee can't continue? Oh, no. yes, they can. They can continue. We should have voted, we voted in the election. Okay. Okay. Um, so what am I taking out? We're taking out vacancies completely. Yeah. The whole section. There we go. Does everyone agree that it would be okay that I went in and just renumbered these in the correct order? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So that we'll uh, do we have to do that right now. <laughs> yeah. Or Don't leave them random numbers. Leave random numbers. Just make them get. Emojis. Emojis. Broken hearts. Okay. So for next, next, next. There's no changes to attendance. Nope. Okay. Removal. Um. For any room. Um. So for abuse of power, I put in. Prejudicial or discriminatory conduct or repeated acts that violate the guiding principles of the NPA. I don't know why repeated's in there. Yeah, because oh, like, if you say repeated, so I, I only did it once. Right. I did it one time. How did it once? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it should be plural NPA. Oh, yeah. So, so do you guys want to read this comment yeah. out loud or not? Oh. Uh, so Marcella was saying that for any reason seems like it's doesn't feel very safe that it's like oh so that is true was edited for any reason yeah. honestly okay right. it depends that's broad on the sentiment of the, the can you I can read it clearly here uh, Marcella said I see this highlighted so I assume there's a plan to discuss I think this is really too broad and does not feel safe. The CEDO sample bylaws document states the following. Steering committee mem member may be removed from their position for standard, quote, abuse of power and or repeated, quote, repeated and willful violation of published norms. And this isn't perfect, but it is at least a standard that a steering committee member could strive to meet. I don't think it is appropriate 
to simply say that they can be removed for any reason. Uh, the, you're in number five now. Uh, we're no, talking we about no, no, there it four. is repeated willful violation of yeah, number four. For number four, for number four, where it's highlighted for any reason. And this is Marcella's comment that she I, made about I think. And then wait a second. let me just finish the comments. I'm reading Marcella's comment. And then Vicky replied, I agree. I think it could read removed from their position for abuse of power, prejudicial or discriminatory comment, discriminatory conduct, conduct, or repeated acts that violate the guiding principles of the MPA. And I think my mindset with repeated acts was that we all are here to learn. Yeah. Right. And so, um, you know, if someone's intention, like if, if it, so, it's not one and done. It's not mm -hmm. one bad so day. So maybe it's right. repeated. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, I repeated that's or willful. Oh, oh, repeated yeah. and willful. So can we accept we'll the chance yes, that has are gone for it? And can we change them. public yeah. nor published norms? No, we're not using that. We're yeah. not using that. Cross it out completely. So no, we're not even using. We're it. not going to. So what we're doing? That was a comment. That was just a comment. Well, it's Current under number five. Censure published. We're not there. Yet. We're not there. We're not there. We're still under. Yes. Highlight that. So yes. So when we get there, we might. Yeah. And are we, we're taking no, out we're taking that out. Do we want it? Oh, out? Yes. yes, we're taking it okay. out for any yeah. reason. Just and, confirming. Yeah. So sorry, Lee. We're just trying to figure out where we are. I got so, easily confused. And and I don't know why that is. Everybody okay if I can fix the font? Yes. On this as well, so she doesn't have to. No, if once it checks, it'll, it'll, it'll be checked. It'll, once it checks, it'll be fixed. If she checks it, I think. Yeah, it was it changed after she just fixed it. Thank, thank you. See, I'll, it right I'll fix it later. Wait, yeah, well, did we want to remove repeated ads? Yes. It's coming. You're welcome. Do the same one. Thank you. Thank you, Oh, uh, I think in the next one. Though. It was in the next one. And okay. again, I think to Vicky's point, are we, we know that some argue? people are going to make mistakes. We are human. Disputes. So oh, where are we? Oh, no, but I didn't know if we wanted to. Remove repeated and willful acts. Um, I don't see willful or acts. Willful, I, there's not willful acts. I'm just like repeating. I'm not putting violate the guided principles of the NPA's plural. Yeah. Did right. we? Are we still on four? Yeah. No, we're on three. Three. We had not made it Repeat, before. I got repeated it. acts that violate the guiding so principles of the yeah, NPA's. Like years, yes. Maybe put an S on NPA's. By a simple majority vote of the members present. What? Uh, in the MP. What? Um, I'm confused. Yeah, so that's just saying that the folks who are oh, in that, that meeting are from Wilbur on that yeah. vote. And it has to have been a warm meeting. Okay, yeah. that's good. That's I feel good. like I'm okay. We're happy. I don't, I don't think I have. I love no, it. I think we're good. We're good. back. Um, love it. All people. right. <laughs> so, what's this? Disputes. Wait, go back to censure. Well, we're not. We're just getting. Okay. Let's see what passed it on the screen. Thank you, Lee. Uh, what, what do we have for censure? Okay, censure. All right, go, Lee. The <laughs> word published norms. Should this be guiding principles? I or is it something else? So. I don't know. So I don't principles. know if there's another document. Guiding principles? Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you, Andrew. We don't need to put them in quotes, do we? I, the abuse of power. I don't know why that's I don't like that. I don't know why it's in quotes. So what was that? Um, guiding principles. Abuse of power does not need to be in quotes unless no. it's quoted from another document. Right. No, I don't know why it's in there. Well, I don't know where it's quoted from if it okay. is. I would like to suggest we define what censure is because it doesn't say what that is in this paragraph. Mm -hmm. We put that up last time. So, no. so um, is that why I think that should be demonstrated? I mean, the same thing. Yeah, thing. Censure is it's saying same. the same thing as removal. You know, that's what's weird about it. Do you, should we just put removal? Let's just put removal then. We'll use. But that's what the other section. No, is. but censure can be without removal. Right. right. So, so what I know censure as 
and because I've had to research it recently for my Parks Commission, is someone can be in the room, they can vote, but they can't contribute to the conversation. They can't like add anything to the agenda. Basically, they are like there to only absorb information and to vote. So I just think it's important that we define censure so we all know <clears throat> like that. What, yeah, yeah, like what we're agreeing to by adding it in here. Oh, um, I think this is in the simple bylaws part of this um, like language, I think. What if we combine those in together? Oh, I'm sorry, I think, think the folks yeah, yeah, that's that's make it removal I think instead of censure. I think there's a legal component to some of the language or like the terminology for censure. And I don't know like all the background on this. Um, so I don't know if like you guys want to specifically define it or like whether that's something you would want maybe like the city attorney's office to define. Mm -hmm. My understanding is once we approve these and we, we vote on them, then the city attorney agrees. Yeah. 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 Or before voting too, because then you don't vote on something that has moved. <laughs> But mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, so like send it to the city attorney before the NPA meeting. Yeah, before voting. What's the turnaround? I don't know. Um, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but now there's. Remember, this is know, just steering committee members. members. It isn't members of the NPA. Right. So I think I think this yeah. section should be removal, and we should stay away from this idea of censure, because it can mean many different things. And can you imagine telling somebody you can't, you can vote, but you can't talk? I mean, I can't I mean, imagine. It's just a scarlet letter. I didn't I'm really sure. understand this, but we have to well, have this, this is in like here, a right? steering committee member specific thing. Um, Do we have to have this in here? I don't think so. No. Is this required? If it's not required. I think it was in the, the sample yeah. bylaws. It was in the reason, sample, right? but is yeah. it required? I don't know. I mean, I think... It was kind of in response to some of the events that have occurred. I mean, if I was censured, um, I'd probably be as fine. like something <laughs> that the steering committee can do. Um, if it says the holding. If you're upholding your guiding principles like consistently, this could be a possible avenue if if something happens. You know, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Sorry. Okay. Well, you have to either move in closer mm -hmm. or. Yeah, I, I can't because I have to connect to power. But um, I was saying that I believe this is in response to some of the events that have occurred in the past uh, as a possible avenue that um, that a steering committee could take if something happened again. Um, I say I don't know if it's required work. per se. Uh, it's been repeated and willful. I know the theory of using censure as opposed to removal is is for like it, it's like giving someone like one last shot at like kind of self correcting. Be like, hey, like we're not going to remove you. We're going to censure you, and you can like put a time limit on it, so you can say like we're going to censure you for like two months. I actually don't. I I would, I would vote if we don't have to have it to remove it. And the reason I agree with that, um, you know, when there are issues of marginalization at the table. And often people of marginalized identities are under a microscope. And um, I think it is it's a I think it's a master school. Okay. So just so have removal and no other like Take it out correctly. I mean I mean the 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 violations for both of these processes are the same. Right. Um so it would either be the censure has to be just less. I, I hope we take out censure. I, I, I would like that. I think too. we take okay. both both we'll of them out. I'm neutral on it. So yeah. Yeah. only I thing I'll know. say is that removal, like you can't do that during an actual meeting. If something were to happen, you couldn't remove that person from the steering committee, you couldn't tell them basically to stop. Yeah. saying whatever they're saying, et cetera, you'd have to wait until the next meeting where you warn that vote to remove them from the steering committee. Censure is basically, I think, from what I'm understanding, is like a process that you can theoretically use in a meeting if something occurs uh, with the steering committee member. Oh, but, you are right. Yeah, yeah, it is meant to be almost like how, how in court they have like contempt of court. It's meant to be a corrective action in the moment. Yeah. 
You're right. Yeah, I do remember but, that now. But that that's not that. warned and voted on at the next meeting. Right. That's no, the it's point. In so, the moment. Yeah. So, so let's use a scenario. Let's say perhaps you're in a steering committee meeting where you've expressed that you would like people to actually use your pronouns and that people are refusing. You know, this this would give you an opportunity to address that in the moment instead of warning it and having to either like deal with that behavior or just not go to the meetings anymore until the warm meeting. So there would be a benefit. I'm honestly, I'm neutral. I, I, I'm happy to acquiesce to the group on this one, but I do see a benefit of abruptly stopping harmful behavior instead of having to wait until the next like okay. warm meeting. How about this? I have a suggestion. Good point, Bosca. Yeah, just trying to figure out what I'm saying. Uh, I, have, I have a thought. I have a thought. Sure. I what if we change the wording under censor to say if it or in the event that an NPA steering committee member is found to be and then just say abusing power or violating the guiding principles. Oh shoot. Oh, the steering committee holds the authority to issue a censure. So the steering committee holds the authority to issue a censure. Period. Uh, well, and then go on to say what it is, okay? And and then so there you're going to censure them. And then all the rest of that stands. All the rest of it stands. And, it, and that's that, in, to me, that says it's in the present moment. Okay. Okay? And they're violating it right then and there. And you have the authority to issue a censure. And that is moved before removal. And the next, so that becomes four and removal becomes five. Mm, that makes sense. And so then, you know, have something in, in CenturyLink about like timeline. Like this can't be permanent <laughs> shut up. Right. Well, I mean, or, yeah, I, I just think it, it comes before removal. So you just says. So you just want to keep it the same and move it. A move it before before. removal. Well, not keep it exactly the same. So it would say, in the event that it's, I'm just going to say steering committee member is. So is, remove engaged in Polska, please. Is found to be abusing power okay. or violating the guiding principles. So she's trying to get you. Sorry. Thanks, Polska. Yeah. You're doing a great job. We appreciate it. You're you're a trooper. But man. abuse <laughs> abusing power, so of yeah. is out. But you know, th this goes on to talk about. Um, can we finish this? Well, we're not done it. Oh, the the last part of this, the steering committee's job is to agendas. And now you've got the steering committee determining if it's warranted, careful consideration. Okay, this we can, kind of we can like examples. Oh, geez. Okay, so it reads In the event that a steering committee member is found to be abusing power or violating the guiding principles, comma, the steering committee, I say get rid of holds the authority to just say may issue a censure. Right. The censure is a formal expression of disapproval reflecting the committee's commitment to uphold, get rid of the ing, ethical standards and maintain, get rid of the ing, a respectful and inclusive re environment. Perfect. Sounds good. And leave the rest of that out. Because the rest of that, you can have six meetings. Um, yeah, and then we can leave the rest of it out. Um, and then and then you could say, we could leave, I mean, you could delete the rest of it, except you could say, uh, the censure will be documented in the committee's minute. I think it? that's good. The, the censure will be documented. In the committee's records. Does the center have to be voted on? Just by the steering committee. All right. Right? The majority vote. Yeah, the steering committee determines if the center is warranted, the yeah. members inform, and the decision is documented. That last sentence 
documented in the committee's records. Right, in the committee's records. Yeah, that included and the last B. So this is what I added just now. Essentially, oh, documents you to ask during committee's records. <laughs> what do you want me to say? No, I think that what we just said was just keeping the last sentence. The steering committee determined. Um, what did you say? You had it in permit. Just the last sentence as it reads is fine. Mm -hmm. So I'm deleting this here. Upon careful consideration, if the steering committee determines the censure is warranted, the member will formally will be formally censured and the decision will be documented in the committee's records. So upon careful consideration, if the steering committee determines the censure is warranted by a majority vote. Okay, good. Good. I was saying. Oh, I thought you thought. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, are you saying majority vote of the NPA or the steering committee? Of the steering, steering committee. Oh, I agree. Yeah, I was just reading. <laughs> and so, I think everything, yeah, that's everything that's before that's upon that's careful that's consideration that's can that's be removed. All right, so this is what the last sentence reads. Careful consideration, if the steering committee determines that censure is warranted by a majority vote of the steering committee, the member will be formally censured and this decision will be documented in the committee's records. So we already, there's a little bit of a repeat. Okay. Just because the sentence before, I think you guys asked me to- Oh yeah, we want that. So it also says that at the end. Yeah, yeah so, that, so the sentence before, do you want me to we don't take that. that out? Okay. Yeah. It was a little confusing at the time. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Upon, upon or, or how about after careful consideration? Sure. <laughs> it makes a difference to me. Does it to you? Mm -hmm. It's good. Yeah, good. We could, then let's, okay, let's keep going. Okay. After, after careful consideration, if the steering committee determines that censure is warranted by a majority vote, comma, and then get rid of, of the steering committee, it says we already did, you know, we yeah. kind of meant that, comma. Is it clear that it's- And then get rid of, of the steering committee. NPA? Well, it, 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 Pol Polska doesn't think that, sounds like it, she doesn't think it's clear. If the steering committee determines that the censure is warranted by a majority vote, I think it's implied that it's, the it's totally committee. clear. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need to repeat it. No. Majority vote, and the mm -hmm. member will be censured, and the decision will, will be, be the decision will be documented in the committee's record. Yep, perfect. That's perfect. That's good. Uh, okay. Good. And then, um, so then there is, it's clear there is a difference between censure and removal when you make this a And can, can we just scroll down a little bit? Now, what I heard the committee also ask is for three to become four and four to become three. Yeah, I yes. so, those. Okay, well, we're first the censure order and removal. Yeah, that's because that's the order of, yeah, I guess how. Of the escalation path really you're like, so wow. good at the people's guy. <laughs> this is yeah. amazing today. And then we go to removal. And then, so this vote, the yeah. censure vote is by the steering committee. Right. The removal right. vote is by the full MPA. Right. Correct. So yeah. then it should set, to my mind, anyway, my suggestion would be the steering committee member may be removed for continued abuse of power, right? Should we say continued abuse of power? Well, I don't think you necessarily need to require that someone be censured before they- I agree. Right. Right. It's an option. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. Somebody okay. might do something yep. so agree with right. that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You're just like, you have to- Yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. It's not, not like, like and okay. Okay. oh gosh, like right. out the door. <laughs> We're doing You're great. Right. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Where are we? Good. We're done with that then. Oh, I'm done with that. Disputes and conflict resolution. Is that where we are? Yes. I believe now we're in. I believe we are. I, I think we're getting to the yes. So yeah, um, this section. My, my comment on that is it, it sounds like the only Complaints go to REIB, and there could be other disputes. So I really, and we don't know how, we don't know um, 
you know, when I think about like we, <laughs> this is nonpartisan. So we have a new mayor. Mm. Um, have a party. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we are so good. <laughs> we are so good. We can't do something different. Oh no no! I was just thinking. <laughs> so anyway, what are you? What were you going to say? I might have information on on why it's the R. I did have information on why it's the RIP. Oh no! I know why I it's the RIP. It could what be you, other disputes that don't have anything to do with that process. Yes. I mean, so, maybe somebody's complaining but, about the way you're making money. I have an answer for you. I have an answer. So this is because this is by decision of the city council, this was in the resolution. So part of the resolution was that the NPAs had to do things, but also the city had to do things as well. And part of that process is that there has to be a complaint process outside of the NPAs because before how it operated is if someone had a complaint against the NPA, it was up to the individual NPA steering committee to decide whether or not they would even hear the complaint. Okay, that's fine. So why don't we do REID or? Well, we but don't get to no. decide that yeah. because that's outside of the the NPA. The city council has decided that the REIB and I believe CEDO would be the ones to handle yeah. uh, external complaints. Yeah. So it'll be REIB or CEDO. But that's REIB is under CEDO, right? No. no. So I no. just no. I, I don't think it's worth even trying to look at this yet okay. because they're they're still working on okay. a. <laughs> on a process and so until that's clear i think you know this might just be a waste of time to just okay. so just like, the small it. little, so let's just, let's just, just like let's just it somewhere to... make the corrections that are there okay yeah or can i make a suggestion yes what if we do number six we do uh this is like disputes and or any party involved in a dispute within the npas may initiate the conflict resolution process outlined by uh CEDO, city, city council, city council. Perfect. And then we can just refer back. Because that is still being worked out. Yeah, yeah. right. So, and that way, again, that way we're not. And we don't have people. to define yeah. everything in that. So, <laughs> resolutions. Do you want to say, like, have a city council a resolution <laughs> you sure you from October 23rd? Yeah, okay. cite, cite the city council resolution that stood up the process. I hear the street movie is really cool now. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the city council. Thank you. Manage it. Any and oh, as outlined by the okay. city council resolution, I mean, how about as defined instead of outlined? It says, as I don't, I don't I care, I'm as well. I'm here. So, so which, so which word is defined? <laughs> Yeah, it's very particular. I'm just kidding. Okay, so this yeah. is what it says. Yeah. And we're, we're they can explain disputes and conflict okay. resolution. Oh, you should join us. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you want to take out? Okay. You want to do a little, do, do you do them in? Is that what you want to do? I think you do. What do we do? Oh, the disputes and conflict. I didn't think it is a do to do now. Forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, So, do you want me to unpack it? Yes, just so that. All right, we're just about done. Okay, voting. What about a quorum? Voting. All decisions made by the steering committee will be determined by a simple majority of the vote of the members present during the steering committee. And somebody put, what about a quorum? Well, you can't meet without a quorum. Yeah. Okay, right. I, well, that was my question. That was my question. Should we write you can meet. the quorum? You just can't make that? any decisions without yeah, a quorum. Pen, maybe, yeah, maybe we just put- Just pen, providing the quorum is yeah. that. Well, but you can't meet without a quorum. Yeah, all the you, you can meet, you, you can just meet. Just, so everybody was talking steering about committee steering just committee. the planning oh, yeah. So you okay. can meet, but you can't do both oh, yeah. out of form. Yeah, this is talking specifically about steering. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. So, so those are not usually open meetings. So I don't know that. Okay, so we don't need that. So I don't know. 
So just take that out. There's a question Deb had. <laughs> yeah, it's just <laughs> <of> my question. <laughs> I like, you have anything to add there? No, I have nothing to add. Okay. okay. <laughs> the disputes in conflict, why is it yellow? Uh, that was just um, highlighted. Because I have my question. It's oh, it was for it. Because of the question. It's just still yellow then. Yeah, I didn't. I tried to get rid of that and oh, I couldn't okay. figure out why. That's because you didn't have a full scope. I, 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 I can't figure out how to get rid of my uh, Are we on seven? Ineligible, ineligible to serve. What happened? Um, I had a question about this. this. You don't mention city employees. You've got city councilors, school commission, mayor, appointed department. So board four and seven members who are currently holding elected positions of or serve serving as, as mayor. Uh, instead of this line, it starts word for it. So then members who are part of the board are serving as mayor appointed city department heads because connected to the governance and administration of the city are not eligible to serve on the city. What so, about so you're not maybe we solve? Yeah, what stuff. about the well, mayor? This is legal. So, like, the mayor can't serve, the city councilors can't serve as joint committee members. I'm not what are sure you about yeah. some of the reason for like some of this is like legally like Sorry. the mayor can't sit on steering committee for an NPA um city councilors can't as well I'm not sure about school commission members but that's I, I mean we can decide that though if we want right if we wanted to include possibly that. yeah I don't I don't know the specifics this came this came out of ward ones okay this so do we want to include city employees? Well, the city employees. Not really a lot of people. There's so for... many city employees. Like looking at the yeah. yeah. So the answer is no. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about what I about? Think so. I haven't figured out. Like, right. Yeah. Like the city kind of encompasses the What about commissioners? Just elected. Not not elected commissioners, but city commissioners. So like, what are they appointed? They're appointed by the yeah. city council. So, oh yeah. So so we need so if if you're saying like like uh, like people like uh, having positions like closely aligned with the city, so you would have to think like so. Do we want commission members on this theory? Who well, would have been appointed by city commission? So commissioners are appointed by uh, city council. True, like uh, voter registration. Uh, a lot of the city commissioners are appointed by yeah. us. Yeah, I, I mean, I think it elected by the people. I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess what's the what's the yeah. purpose? Like, what's the right. motivation behind this rule? Is it well? That's is it what I was. So you know we I mean? were is questioning it. Like it, it some of this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like to maintain its foundation, yes, in the fact that it's separate from these are the grassroots grassroots neighborhood organizations, yes. and so that people can have two seats of power. When I think about if you're a mm -hmm. you know a city council, that's legal, right, or, 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 or that. an elected in elected position, right, and then you're you, you're that's a position of power in the community, community government, and then you're taking a seat at the table from someone in the community or a community level. Right. I don't think it's I, I, I agree with that, but I think we need to explore also commissioners because this, I mean, the same kind of thing could be argued. You're not obviously as powerful as so let's ask your commissioners. Well, that's what we need to ask. We need point. to have the discussion. Right. Because like, that's it wasn't mentioned here, and I don't know if anyone's thought about that. So yeah. I think we need to I mean, a commissioner can be, um, like I used to serve on the board of the registration of voters. I was a commissioner. I just, that was right, <laughs> not an board. I, I, you know, know, I don't, I agree. That was like nothing, really. And I sat at the over the polls and helped people register. Right. And I still think he was a good I mean, yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, those, yeah, are you yeah. sure? Yeah. I think mean, those are the kind of people who work with Yeah, yeah. It's, you yeah. know, they're not yeah. very, yeah. really fun. <laughs> they're, they're not very powerful. Right. They're just. Some I'm have more power than up. others, but they're all mostly advisories. The only one that's like quasi judicial is the Housing Board of Review. Yeah, and we've had right, we've had, and right. Olivia Taylor's on the Housing Board so, of Review. Right, 
So do we think she has a conflict of interest? No, I, I don't think so. I don't think so. I think because, elected is different than, yeah. Yeah. than that position. Yeah. And, and I just want to have the conversation. Yeah, no, I said that. I'm trying to even think yeah. what yeah. are the other So I'd like to keep the language the same. The moment I'm I'd like to keep us moving forward. I'd like to keep the mayor, sitting city councilors, and school commissioner members. I agree. Let's. Good. Keep us to name them what that to be. Yes. So, and they are would, appointed city department. Yes. Just yes. to point out, because this yes. will be an issue, this will make yes. Monica ineligible. Yes. And I don't know that that's a good thing. I feel like we cover it if they are elected, holding elected. I think sector. that's the second. I think that's another discussion. I agree. I think, I think that we do this. Because this is also my understanding, the history of this, it's been to keep right. the city, the community, this MPA separate from city government. Right. I think the issue of Monica is a separate discussion and in our bylaws. And don't we can, hinge on that. Right. And we can discuss but, that. But, but well, she's, school she's commissioner. a school commissioner. Yeah, sure, and sure. as an elected school commissioner, she's not eligible to serve on the NPA steering committee. So she shouldn't. So always been, been that way. Well, I'm I'm that's all fine. But doesn't the fact that if you say people who hold elected positions, Cover those three areas specifically. Yeah, I just wanted to point out by the side we decide that, that 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 will make a current member ineligible. So I just wanted to ineligible for re-election. For re-election. Re re okay. Yeah. I but mean, but it, not at this time because it wouldn't be until these are voted on. So if she's voted in for re-election next week, and then these are instated, can she finish out her term, or would she be expected to? I think she would be step expected down. to really to step down. Yeah. And, and if she, we were voted to, but I don't I'm know. Not, if I'm not saying to continue anyway. I'm not so saying well. I disagree. Yeah. I'm just saying yeah, we're. Different. All I'm saying is that we're that a decision on this. Will would make someone ineligible, so I just want to have the discussion. I'm not saying that I, yeah, I wouldn't. I, 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 I think either. I'm not fighting either for yeah. either. I just, I just think for the sake of this of the document and the, and the meeting that we would want to make a decision regarding regarding this language in the best interest of an NPA moving forward. Right, right. I think that's a separate issue, and and it doesn't hinge upon this. Correct. And right. I think, right. I'd like to. Yeah, I mean, and I, I, think I think that she would be think, amenable to that, saying like, "Oh, that's so." It's that's can someone word. read this out loud? Because I, I the mayor, the so, mayor, so mayor, so city council, oh, the, the mayor, sitting city councilors, school commission members, and mayor appointed city department heads being closely connected to the governance and administration of the city are not eligible to serve on the steering committee. Right, so if we vote in favor of this, I'm saying it would make Monica an eligible. Right. Yeah, but the only yeah. reason that Monica's on the steering committee is because there weren't experienced people there to say, wait a minute, because yeah. all, all the MPAs in the city do not have exclude those groups. No, I agree. I agree. And I, I think this is good. I'm just saying, I just want to make sure it's said out loud that we are making someone ineligible. Okay. It was we already said it six times. Can we put something I in that's... Like that was a little rude, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I didn't mean it rude. That felt very rude. But I, <laughs> I meant we have said it. I, I mean, we have said it. I, well, I've, I've said it, and then I feel like the, the things I'm getting back are saying we don't have to decide on Monica now, but we are deciding on Monica tonight. Yeah. Let's be perfect to off like something that says if there's a current, you know, commissioner, when these bylaws are passed, they're allowed to finish out their... Her about the MPA? Would something like that make sense? I, I don't feel comfortable with that because I think that we're uh, we're a growing entity and um, our hope is to get more people at the table to join. And if it's taking up a seat and you already have a voice in city government, yeah, that makes sense. I would like to have that seat because there's really only one more available after um on on for ward seven. I don't know what ward she's in. Seven. I think she's going seven. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah seven. Myself and um, and yeah, so because we have someone, yeah. two people joining next month. So I just think I just I think, think about it as seat at the table and equity. Oh, yeah. I think the reasoning is sound. Yeah. 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 The reason we're specifically naming these positions are because and they and are exactly right. So what about ward clerks then? Because those are elected. 
and it's inspectors true. of election. Yes. yes. So, the piece is, so, so that's why I think we should say and just so the piece of so Car yeah. Carmen wouldn't be eligible yeah. there. What is she? She's that's just the piece. piece. So she's a winner. She's not involved in my. But it's elected. It's still yeah, elected. It's elected. I think that's why we said those. Positions. Right, I think I think that's why these were here. I do understand that it would make Monica ineligible. However, to Vicky's point, she already sits at the table and has influence. So yeah, she will be a member. She will be a member here, and they can read those values to those yeah. spaces. Okay. So we're not saying elected oh. people. Okay, we're just that's a good point. These positions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I I don't know. I'm confused. Yeah, I'm talking know, myself. It like, <laughs> well, because I, I was just saying that because in this, this, there, anyways, yeah. So I hold an elected position versus mayor appointed. Well, and and we just brought up if you say holds an elected position, an elected yeah. position would include it does, justice, uh, but that's the others, which doesn't make sense. No. So I, I'm fine with this. Yeah, I'm a fine okay. with that too. Then I back it down. Okay. <laughs> So uh, we, how many people are in agreement with this? I guess. Are you I, in agreement? I, I don't. I, can you be real? Now? Okay, sorry. sorry. Yeah. No, the no, mayor, no. the mayor, city, the mayor, sitting city councilors, school commission members, and mayor appointed city department heads, being closely connected to the governance and administration of the city, are not eligible to serve on the steering yeah. committee. I, I, I don't I, want to strike sitting. What is sitting city councilors? Well, previous, I'd say current. current. You know, and it's maybe like, we just say current. But the current mayor, city councilors, school commissioners. Well, but a person who isn't a, you're only, only a city councilor if you've been elected and you sit on that table. Right. So why do we have city? We don't think you're a city. former city councilor, you can be at the table. So we just need to remove, right? remove sitting. Just because then it would have mayor. to say sitting school commissioners and yeah, 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 sitting right. mayor. Yeah. 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 We can just remove yeah. sitting. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mayor, all right. City and, and let's look again on this. Yep. Yeah. 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 All in favor? Is your hand yes. up or down? Six. Six. Good. Seven. Okay. We're good. And it's school Unanimous. commissioners, and you can get rid of members. Mm -hmm. School commissioners. Mayor, city councilors, school oh, did you hear that? And mayor, the mayor, city, city council, school commissioners. Basically, we go back to the way yes, exactly, <laughs> or I messed with them. <laughs> that's well, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what they say. Wait, watch out. So, we're taking out members, yes, yeah, we're taking out yeah. we'll put it back on the right here. <laughs> but now yeah. we all, but now yeah. we understand. Yeah. Okay, you're doing duties of the work. steering committee. This looks good. It looks yeah. good. Wait, wait, there's more something on there, Marcella. No, there's maybe not. This is the same as before. Yeah, but uh, she's right, but we're not going to do that. She's doing the awards and the awards. She is right, but no, now you have to put that. No, 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 it's yeah. fine because it's ward four and ward seven. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. I think, I, I think this section looks good. Yes. Yep. Yep. Um. Except for, let's go down the that that woman. Oh, <laughs> she has so many comments. <laughs> <laughs> anal, anal, anal. Yeah. Sorry. We'll accept that. I think we just accept them all. I, I have a question yeah, on we'll budget management, and that is, we do get private donations. Really? For we example, do. Ali well, Yang is cost. donating five hundred dollars to the next to the Nepali. Um, the city to the wards for it. So that one does need an S. Um, Deb was incorrect there. Oh, what did I do? <laughs> put that in the notes. <laughs> <laughs> because I had it, you know, sorry. That's All right. The and then what is that presenting? Delete space, Deb said. We listen. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just, just, yeah, put the next on mine. Oh, I got it. You're teaching yeah. me. Yeah. All right, so then this was from operational to operating. Is that, yeah. is that okay? Yeah. 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 All right, adding an S for conflict yeah. interest. Yes. Back more. Oh, is this one affected? Read it on the affected issue. The issue right. when the we vote on the issue at hand. That's fine. Let's accept that. Yeah, I think so. That we, we don't have to overthink affected, right affected or mm -hmm. affected. It's, yeah. Yeah, nobody knows. Nobody knows. No big deal. All of yeah, that. I just want to use me more. 
Alrighty. So what I'm gonna do, we we said okay, wait, we're almost there. We're almost there. Kim, okay. I'd like to speak to duties of the steering committee F funding. Okay. Oversee funds granted from the city or privately donated to wards four and seven NPAs. Okay. Okay, where's that? Uh, e, e, item e. e. So what are we doing differently? Granted from the Granted city. Granted from the city or privately donated, we're adding. Okay. Or, oh, how'd you do that? Oh, she typed me. We have to have a Files are in the computer. Okay, all right. <laughs> Amendments to the bylaws that stands the way it is, right? What did we do with conflict of interest? I think we we we, we just did con we added an S to it. Conflict of well, interest. The last sentence isn't complete, it just says. A vote null and void or necessitate further deliberation or a and it just drops a revote on the issue at hand. hand. Or a revote on the issue at hand. So we're okay. good there. Yep. Now we're just at the miscellaneous provisions. Yep. So the miscellaneous provisions. Um, can we continue to scroll? Um discrimination based on race, color, creed. Or sex origin, gender, I think. Um, and what happened there? Any other characteristic protected by the law? Um, I, I didn't. Yes. yes. I don't believe that. Right. Well, we need the everything, but the. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm not understanding why um, discrimination based on race, color, creed, religion. National origin, ethnicity, sex, sexual orientation, gender, age, disability, Jeez. or socioeconomic oh, status, that. period. Right. I think that's all we those are the protected categories. Right. I don't think that there we need to well, add I think other there may be more, more like there may be more added in the future. Like HIV status, like pregnancy, I pregnancy, yeah. I think yeah. those are usually I think I know Ward 5 for the resolution that they came up with, that uh -huh. their inclusivity kind of resolution. Uh -huh. They included this statement. That way they didn't have to update yeah. every time. Okay. Oh, some okay. new characteristics. So yeah. was any other characteristic protected by Okay. Yeah, but okay, yeah, yeah, up to you. I yeah, like it's it. leave it. All right. That, that way, yes. Yeah. They can add a bazillion other things. You like them? We don't have to update it as frequently. Are we all in favor? All in favor. We're all in favor. We're getting punchy. Yeah. We're all in favor. We're all in favor. Yeah. All right. Um, another suggestion here. Um, to add oh, shall. To add maybe. shall. We love that word. We love shall. Yeah, we love like, shall. Want to add shall? Yeah. yeah. Add shall. Okay. Excuse I think me. She's good. For yeah. Right. Shall. So what what happened? Wait, what did you just? <laughs> we just we just accepted the shall uh, suggestion. Okay, that's good. That's all. Suppose that's an excerpt from the city, so we just kept it. Now, members of the ward four and seven NPAs who violate these policies may be called out of order, and upon repeated violation, asked. Either, either to desist, desist or leave the media. So you have to leave the media. Okay, okay, so this is not the steering committee. This is during an NPA when someone says something out of pocket and how we deal with it. Yeah, um, I'm not sure. Let me see where that is. But, but I don't know if Marcella? you can ask okay. someone to leave an NPA. Because it's a public. Yeah. You no, it's a public well, you can ask. They don't have to leave. Can oh, you censor so, censure right. person who's just I mean, well then I would no. I would suggest we change as to suggest because I think at putting ask to leave, I think a lot of people that would interpret that as saying you can tell them to leave. No, yeah. I um I actually I, I don't think this section is even necessary. All right, let's take it out. What do you think? Well, I mean, it, no, there is, I can't, I've seen in other MPs where this is the question, because we, we've had in meetings where people have, have said, said very offensive things during the meeting. Sure. And so do we, what we could do oh, is kind of like a censure 
where, oh, you, the, where you're yeah. issuing that the NPA doesn't agree with this language. Okay. okay, and that could be the way to deal with it, that everybody in the room votes like that, we, then this doesn't meet our standards. And we can't kick them out, but we can say like, we can put on the record that the, the majority is in the yeah. You could like the you can adjourn the meeting like Ooh. for a definite amount of time or the rest of the meeting. Um, yeah. Like for instance, if you recess. wanted to adjourn, yeah, yeah, yeah like you could do yeah. that. But like, and someone could try to de-escalate or something. Um, could be or like a community member community like could step in. Like so, what I've done in a meeting where there was something inappropriate said, I recessed it. And I then like talk to the person to the side. And it is a way of kind of like publicly shaming, you know, where, where if someone's like, so someone says something and someone can say like, uh, I, I moved to recess for five minutes. And then someone from the steering committee goes, it's like, hey, hey um, uh, don't, don't do that. Yeah. Okay. So I, I think that that, um, that whole thing gets indented also. I think, right? No, it's, no, it's, it's not, not of the it's statement. It's not part of the statement. Okay, okay, I see it on here. So it's not. Yeah, that was, she so She added it, but it doesn't but belong I, under there because that's the quote of the city's policy. I also don't think the word is members. I think it's participants because even if you're a non ward member, oh, right. Oh, right. It's anybody oh, right. present. Right. Right. Good yeah. Yeah. meeting. That's right. a good yeah. I tried to catch those. And good for you. Well, do we want it in there? When I, we I come don't, back to that. I, I don't think so. Yeah, maybe if not. If we take it out, we don't have a way to deal with inappropriate behavior during the meeting. Right. Uh, well, I think, we could also change it to participants. adjourn or recess or something. I, I would like, yeah. I, so I propose we put uh, uh, members of the ward 4 and 7 NPA who violate these policies. Uh, or, 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 or how about let me let me read where that is. So, oh, any, 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 so let me let me finish my money oh, yes. here. So okay. <laughs> okay, go ahead. so uh any participant in a ward four and seven wards four and seven NPA meeting may call the meeting to recess if inappropriate behavior is displayed, at which time a steering committee member is expected to Blah blah blah. I don't know. I think that okay. that's maybe the way we want to. I I think that we take it out. <laughs> <laughs> You're like I don't want to have to do that. Oh, so, so let me ask you then. If so, if someone says something at a at a meeting that's inappropriate, then what do we do? Well, I think that's fine. I mean, you said I'm I'm with you. Participants of the wards four and seven. NPA meeting who violate these policies may be called out of order, um, just may be called out of order, asked to leave, asked, called out of order, asked to desist or leave the meeting. Um, meetings may also, called out of order. We can't ask them to leave the meeting. Okay. Okay. May be called out of order. But what is that? You know, right. like what yeah. is that mechanism? Like, does the I don't know. I just I, I know, but if we take it, it like, but what I'm saying, like, if we take it out, we have no mechanism for addressing an appropriate yeah. behavior. At least like, holding a five minute recess. Nothing, nothing. Yeah. That, I think that was the issue. Right. I yeah. <laughs> well, I think it was the Wild West. And I, people could just say and do whatever they want. I, I think, honestly, I think the best way to deal with it, okay. I think it's point of it. I think they have something. Okay. Until then, can we get rid of to add grievance procedure and because it's already yes, in there? It's all and gone. Also, and all gone. So all that can go. And we just on this one last piece. Close is this it? Is this is this the end? Well, this is. I think. Are we done discussing the little part? No, Jim. No, what are we going back? Are so we going back? Thing is, yeah. I'm just cleaning up the end, so oh. we're done. And the last part we get to savor is that. Oh. Okay. Oh, and I've oh, got one old. treat edit for this too. Okay. And I think Deb, did you say you had language? You take out those other things. I would I just say, say or not. attendees oh. who violate these policies may be called out of order. Comment and NPA me members may call a recess, may vote, may vote to call a recess or end the meeting. 
Hmm. I think that's fine. That's yeah. nice. All right, let's see that gives us a Did you have that? Yeah. It says A. It says a, a, attendees who violate the Do we want attendees of the Ward 4 and 7 NPA? I don't know. Why don't we say meeting attendees? All right. Are you making these changes right now, Deb? Yeah, we're asking this was the city. Okay, because. I just want to make sure that declaration of interest. I don't know. What that Are you on the internet? Changing? No. no. Oh, okay, okay. I would love to do it. I, I can save this on my, and I can go okay, ahead. I just want to double check. So this is the last city. city. Okay, okay, attendees. Uh, uh, meeting attendees so now we who violate these policies. Okay. okay. Yeah, so can we not just. May be called city. out of yeah. order. Or just add. Um, come out and here to Reason the state, state of Vermont and city of Burlington's decorative meeting. Do you want to add a meeting? No, no I take a meeting attendees, okay. and then everything has to be um, um, that and who can go, can go. Okay. and then it came to Burlington. And I don't know how you just get back here. Meeting attendees of the wards, for no, just get rid of all of the ward, just meeting attendees. Who violate these policies? There you go. Perfect. May be called out of order, comma, and I would take out out upon reading. Well, anyway, wait. okay. And and we can change. Let's just get this out of the way. And NPA members may vote to call a recess or end the meeting. You can't vote without warning it on the next agenda. You can for point of orders. Oh, great, but it doesn't say that in here. That's just like standard procedure. Anyone can motion to adjourn or, I mean, we, we can, right? We can put that in there, but that's, I mean, Meeting attendees who violate these policies may be called out of order. Oh, so instead of N, adjourn the meeting. Adjourn the meeting. And PA member. Yeah, and somebody could just totally disrupt your meeting 10 minutes into your meeting, and then you're going to adjourn it because somebody it says no. You, 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 you have to have the option. No, if we vote that this person's out of order and adjourn the meeting, there could be things on that agenda, presenters who are there. But I think it's also a less people yeah. Okay, so say an NBA may, members may call the police or <laughs> <laughs> well, so meeting attendees who violate these policies and be called out of order. Out of order. And yeah. NPA yeah, members that's, 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 that's an option. May be be but you're out of order and then you put them in a dust camp. Out of oh, order. Yes. May vote to call a recess. <laughs> oh, but sorry, corner. May but vote to call a recess. Everybody's talking. Everyone's talking. Call a recess or adjourn the meeting. I like it. I like, I like everyone it. Everyone on board with that? Yeah. We, we got options. Not. Should we vote? Are we voting? Yeah, yeah, we're just getting it up here. We're voting oh, before we finish it. Yeah. Violate Meeting attendees who violate these policies may be called out of order, and NPA member members, members may, may vote to call a recess or adjourn the meeting. Does that work? Yes. Can yes. we put in there? Call the other. <laughs> I think that's I think that's applied. We're just putting a picture of you in the bylaws, like wagging your finger. <laughs> All right, are we voting on this? Yeah, I think we're voting on it. All right, ready? And Aye. so oh, the big May, I'm he being... actually made it this entire document. Wait, I've got Wait, one more. Okay, one more. Um, um, let's 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 go first. back to where it says it first. under non discrimination, additionally, our NPAs shall adhere to it's the state of Vermont and the city of Burlington's declaration. Remember, that declaration came from the state when the governor signed it and the legislature. Where are where you saying put that? Just put it in that sentence. It where, says, where additionally, where, additionally where, our NPA shall adhere, adhere to the state of Vermont oh. and the city of Burlington's All right. declaration. The state okay. of Vermont. I think the city of Burlington includes like at least the expectations from the state, if not more. But I can't hear you. It's different. I'm saying it's the, the no, state of Vermont. It's not different. different. I think okay, that's why I'm just wondering if it's like it is the same. 
I'll leave, yeah, I'll leave the Yang made the resolution in, on January 7th, 2022 to, for it to pass. Yes. Right, but Burlington, Burlington may have added additional... additional it, is. It, is, it is different because yes. the state of Vermont wouldn't say the city of Burlington unequivocally condemns... You know, right, so let's just keep it the way it is. Yeah. This is the wording from the state's declaration that the governor signed and it was sent to all the cities in Vermont. But I think and Burlington, right, but Burlington, I think, added additional okay. language around it. So, so it, then we go, as I understand it. They did not add additional okay. language to the declaration of inclusion. They did because this says, so why it says the city of Burlington's declaration of inclusion is because it starts with the city of Burlington. Yeah, and every every city or town, it does the same. The city of Auburn, the city of Barrett. I mean, I, 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 I get that. It, but it does make okay. it Burlington's document. But we're saying which states. The state's document doesn't state. Okay, the city it's of Burlington. Yeah, that's fine. Hold on. No. Okay, well, all right. Can we vote on this point? Yeah, yeah. yeah. and then we'll. I wrap. think I have a solution that's real simple. Go for it. Okay, additionally, our NBA shall adhere to the city of Burlington's quote declaration of inclusion, which includes the state of Vermont's declaration and states the following. I'm okay with that. I guess more that does that work? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine with that. That's a great solution. Thank you for pushing Thank our compromiser. <laughs> additionally, comma, our NPA shall adhere to the city of Burlington's. Well, the way it is. Oh, okay. the way it is. of inclusion, and then after which, yeah. after which, say includes the state of Vermont's capitalized, yeah, declaration, lowercase, and you want declaration lowercase? Yeah, yeah, declaration lowercase. Sorry, Posca, <laughs> and <laughs> and you're done, and that's it. <laughs> Do we agree that it's okay for the font, the numbers, mm -hmm. to be adjusted on this by me? Yes. 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 Or I'd be glad to do it to confirm it. But I can handle this. You don't like Google Docs? I'm no, I, I'm good at this. Okay. If you want to do it, you go for it. You go for it. All right, do we want to <laughs> put it on the document as a whole? Yes. 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 Let's put it okay. on the document as a whole, and then we can put this to bed. Facilitator. And go home and put it on the If you want to do it. Pardon me, for sure. Yeah, you got to vote. Right, gonna, okay, let's vote on the whole document. We did it. We're going to vote uh, on the whole document. Um, those in favor of. Sorry. The, Wait, should I remove this here that says plus feature? Oh, get rid of that. Yes. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's like final it. draft. And this is the final draft. Everyone approved the final oh, draft. So is it four, take four eight or nine? Seven. Wait, 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 wait. Eight can, or nine. Can we just say final draft instead of the yeah. date? Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay? Final draft is a beautiful. And that can be in red too. We did tonight. We do so such good work together. Yeah, it can be done. We can work. Can, can, are, are we voting? Um, and so we're going to say we edit. We um final draft. I, um, I'm just so excited to vote on it. 2020 24 8 p 802 p.m. All in favor. <laughs> yeah. All in favor of adopting the final draft dated 3 20, yes. 24 uh, 802. <laughs> I would like to officially acknowledge everybody's hard work and Fosca, especially for yes. sticking with so, us. Thank you. Thank so you. I mean, really. And enough. thank you for editing and your your wisdom that you imparted on this yeah. journey. Yeah. My gosh. I move to adjourn. Second. I second and third. <laughs> All in favor? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, everyone.